Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have coffee in my bicycle coffee cup. Funny thing is this is from Starbucks from years ago, but it's the colors of my Pelotonia. And I'm wearing my Pelotonia. This is a Nespresso, it's hazelnut, it's delicious. I bought a Nespresso maker on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I'm wearing a throwback wrinkled t-shirt from Pelotonia and it is Thursday morning. It's cold here in Ohio. It's 60 degrees right now. Why? It's June. But whatever. That's how we roll. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And yeah, that's about it. I've been on vacation, so I've been trying to get stuff done around the house. And I have a super secret project coming up that I cannot wait. I'm going to be releasing something into the wild in August that is for the cross-stitching community. What is that curl? Let's lay that curl down. Here we go, curl. And I cannot wait till it's finished. So tomorrow I am going to Cincinnati area to make some video content for the channel and talk to some people. I believe I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree down there, which is, I think, the second largest in the United States. I know. All right, let's get into it. Some of this stuff is from the plus section. Some is not. Um, this is not. Just a set of note cards on a book ring. But I really like having stuff like this handy to make notes because I'm forever writing things down. Even though I'm trying to use the notepad on my um, phone more because it does carry over to my laptop. But sometimes if I don't have that and I just have something, I can just jot down ideas on this. These things are great. Recipes, yes. Cross-stitching, you could use these for all of your projects that you have in, on the go. Crafting ideas, yeah. So I grabbed one of these, it's 50 sheets. And I think these are four by six, oh, three by fives. These are three by five size and look at the front. So I grabbed that. I got this to bring to work to play like some little games with my team. This is called Sling Hockey. If you haven't seen it, we're gonna look at it because I have not seen this board. And it's good, it comes with instructions. So you have pucks, little wooden pucks, black and white. And what you have to do is you lay the puck down and you pull it and you have to slide it through the hole. And I assume each player starts with five pucks on their side. Use the elastic to fire the pucks to the other side of the board. You must use one hand to move and fire the pucks. Aim at the slot on the opponent's side. Try not to fire too hard or the puck might bounce back to your side. As soon as the game starts, play continues without stopping. The first player with no pucks on his side wins. So you start with five pucks, but I think the goal is to get all 10 on the other side. I just thought it would be super fun and it's something quick and easy that I can do as like a team building. And quite frankly, we could start with two pucks each or whatever, so I thought that was fun. This is a, in the $5 section, which they have some cute stuff for like outdoor games and stuff. So I will put this away, Ooh, down there we go. And the directions, those are important, right? Because if not, then we start making up our own rules. I'm not saying that I won't make up my own rules. Because I will. Okay. Oh, let me just put that over here. Okay. I'm just going to grab bags. We don't know what's in these bags, but we're grabbing. Oh, this one has a set of the nails that have the, um, oh, my nose. The tortoise shell, these are Kiss brand. I have hauled these before for Sarah, but I thought I would like a set for myself. So I grabbed those. I don't, I'm not wearing nails right now. Um, I can't wear, well I can now, but I couldn't because of um, pottery. You can't have long nails and throw clay. Speaking of, I get to go today and pick up my pottery stuff. So I will show you. I got some vinegar. I need to clean one of my coffee makers. And yes, I said one of, I have a problem guys. You know this, right? I'm now up to like three coffee makers on my counter. But to be fair, they all make different kinds. 
Um, I got this for a cookout we were having over the weekend and then I forgot it. But these are just grill tongs. Actually, I'm gonna be grilling today, so I'll use that. Um, I got, I haven't tried this, but it's Peak H2O Energy Drink in grapes. I grabbed two of these. I, I just like water mixers. Um, this does have caffeine in it, no sugar. Yeah, so I got grape, right? Blackberry grape. I love those. Um, I picked up some more tahine. This stuff is thebomb.com. If you have not had it, it is so good. I just sprinkle it on everything, really. It's good on fruit. I put it on hard boiled eggs. I put a little bit in my cottage cheese. I just love it. It's a spice blend. Um, I don't know if it's from Mexico. I've purchased it in Mexico before, but that doesn't mean that it's a product of Mexico. But it is non-GMO and it's delicious. I love it. Ugh. The weather has been terrible and my allergies are following suit. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh, I got some nail, Kiss Nail Glue to go with the nails because these are not um, stick-on. So I grabbed the Kiss brand nail glue. I figured, well, that's great. Um, I got the Ioni tweezers and these are actually tweezers for me. I will put them in my car probably. Cause that's the best place to pick your your pluck your chin hairs is in the car if you didn't know that great lighting um and i like these that they have um i'm trying to get them out here to show you they have a nice fat gripper and it's padded which is nice so it's easier for me to get the chin hairs in the car so that's what it looks like. And then this piece right here is padded. So when you squeeze, you get a good tight fit. So I grabbed those. Um, I gave away the other chalk I bought to some little kids on my street. And so I got some more. This is a Crayola brand. You get 18 pieces of white and 18 pieces of color. The interesting thing is the colors are much better in the Crayola than that other brand more vibrant. I'm not going to say better, but they're definitely more vibrant. Um, purple, blue. Yeah. And you get more colors because purple, green, I think you get the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, blue, green, violet. Yeah. You get the rainbow. And the other one only came with four colors. So I thought this would be fun. Um, not just for, you know, the kids, but I do have some chalkboards that I love drawing on make little kitchen signs and stuff. Ugh. My nose itches. All right, what's in here? Oh, well, I bought this little uh, prep container that has the sections. I was supposed to go to a concert last night and it got canceled. I was supposed to go see James Taylor and we were gonna pack like picnics to take because you can at this facility but he has laryngitis and it's got canceled and where it's pushed back to, I can't go. So I'm kind of sad about that. So I, I mean, I'll use these for lots of different stuff, but they are prep containers. So like adult bentos, I guess, or they're nice for like dip and veg because you have a section in the middle. And I think I have a secondary one too. I didn't know which size. And I got one for Sarah because she was going to the concert too. And actually these will work good for her when she gets back to school to pack her lunches in or my, myself. So this is a smaller one, more for veggies. But you have like for your moist whatever and then your veg. So these are great. I don't typically use a lot of plastic lunch um, containers anymore. When COVID happened, I kind of switched everything over to glass, but I have some. Um, I found some more of these, but any guess why I bought it? Look at that blue kitty in the middle and the doggy and an elephant. I love them all. And you get two of each. I'm loving that they're in color. So I grabbed those. 
Oh, hold on, I'm moving. Ugh. Oh, I got this for Sarah. Girl loves her some pancakes. And they have IHOP, International House, and it's pancake cereal. It looks very much to me like, there was another cereal that was like these little circles. I can't remember what it was, but it was from my childhood. So I grabbed that for Sarah, a family pack guys for $1.25. And the good through date is March of next year. So if you got kids and you're trying to save some money, start stocking up now, put it away for back to school time, make your life easier. And I mean, honestly, it is, the stores are gonna start carrying back to school stuff short really soon. I mean, heck, Hobby Lobby has uh, fall and Thanksgiving out already. Um, I have an airline or air flight coming up in a couple weeks. And so I just got a book. This is from the parade edition, 501 jokes, riddles, games, trivia question, fun facts, and offbeat tales. I thought it would be interesting. We have a lengthy layover at one airport. So I thought, well, that could be fun to read or give it to my cousin. And then I got this throwback retro TV guide crossword puzzles. And I think these are uh, the 70s TV crushes edition. And these might be original word searches from TV guide and crossword puzzles and stuff like that. So I thought, well, that'll be fun. I could, it's lightweight. I can take it to the beach. I can um, read it on the airplane. I don't know. I just think these are super fun and, you know, short, lightweight, easy to carry about. All right, I got a bunch of stuff here. Now, speaking of Thanksgiving, the Dollar Tree is already coming out with some Thanksgiving stuff, guys. So this sign, it just says, while the core thankful. I mean, I love that. That is nice. And I think this is grateful. No, gather. They have thankful and gather. I didn't say grateful or blessed, but I'm sure they'll come out with those soon. Here, we'll do our thumbnail. Yeah, I'm like, Thanksgiving already, Dollar Tree? I'm not even, it's not even 80 degrees here consistently yet. The weather here has been bonkers, bonkers. It's been in the 60s and 70s all week. It's June, friends, June. Um, I grabbed another one of these in the bees because I love it. And when they're gone, they're gone for under my coffee makers, plural. I should slip in a picture here of my coffee bar. I'll do that if I remember. And then I need to mail the little um, spoon and knife or spoon and fork set that I got. I didn't have a mailer, so I need to do that this weekend. So I just grabbed them. A mailer to get that in the mail and then I got some toothpaste this is just optic white I really need to buy like a real tube of toothpaste but for now I can also travel with this I like the optic white but again I mean I don't know if it is a great deal but I needed toothpaste so it was a purchase of opportunity I was there all right now lastly oh apparently I bought two of these uh, another meal prep container. I can also take them to my little cousin. She packs her lunch for high school. Um, I didn't know if you knew this, but these, this is a steering wheel cover. But if you're a crafter or a cross stitcher specifically, you can put this around your Q-snap. It's called a grime guard. And it keeps your hands, the oils on your hands from getting onto your projects any type of needlework or hoop that you're working within, this can go around it. And it also does a good job of holding your fabric out of your way. So I grabbed one. Um, I do have an eight inch Q-snap that we're gonna, I think this will be perfect on. And then I typically do my ornaments on the eight inch Q-snap. So I grabbed a white, one of those white, just so I can see if my hands are dirty. Um, and then there's just a couple more things, but I thought they were fantastic. Um, I do have a cross stitching retreat coming up and I was thinking about making this my nameplate. 
on my spot where I'm gonna sit and put my name here and bejewel this and then put a kickstand on the back. I know, right? The only thing is, ugh, I hate that they put these sticky thingies on here. I got it off, don't worry. But I thought that would be cool. Or I could put my name here in jewels or here in jewels. I don't know, but I need to do something with it. It's a crown. I could wear a crown too. I have one. Not kidding. Um, so they had a whole section. and I don't think it's new. I just think it's new to my store. Hold on. What's happening here? What's happening? Okay, I got it. Um, for macrame stuff. So they have the dowel rods. And these are 15.75 by half inch. So even if I don't use this for macrame, any type of, especially with the holidays crafting coming up, but you get two, they did have the macrame string or cording, but I have plenty of that. So they had these, I'm like, that is fantastic. Pre-cut. And then they had a double pack of bamboo hoops, which again, you can put macrames in here. You can do weaving in here. Um, you can make uh, wreaths, two wreaths come Christmas time. Uh, you can make snowman out of these, wrap them in white yarn and double stack them, tie them together, and now you have a snowman. Or you can get this, which is another one, just different material, and make a three-tiered snowman same thing with this macrame or any type of yarn uh, you could put a, a dream catcher type situation in here you could string a doily in here like there's so much you can do with hoops that are just hoops they're not embroidery hoops there's nothing on the edges so I thought well this is fun just materials to have not necessarily that I'm gonna do macrame which I might but then I found this, and there was one single one, and it's a macrame keychain kit. And there's directions, which is always nice, but it sh tells you how to do that, like, fishtail-looking macrame onto a keychain. I thought that was super fun. I mean, I love boho stuff, and I love kits. And it tells you here in the directions like there's good directions it looks like in here so that I picked that up to try on a maybe a board day or I could take it on the airplane with my little cousin and we can if I can find another one we can do this at the airport because I think we have like a four hour layover um so if I can find another one tomorrow I can bring it and we can make them at the airport maybe I don't know But that is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. Um, looking forward to the holiday stuff coming out. I'm pretty excited and I cannot wait to see what they bring out this year for Christmas. And I really hope it's something different than they had last year or add on to it. So, you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.